You know, on Team Trip's drive to Washington from Pittsburgh Saturday morning for Game 5 of this Eastern Conference second round series between the Penguins and Capitals, the talking heads were on and the song was Same As It Ever Was. Well, once in a lifetime. But the refrain, Same As It Ever Was, notice a theme there? Because the Penguins, once again, are in a position for the fourth time in their history to overcome a two-game deficit against the Washington Capitals in the playoffs. I'm telling you, this is like it's never been before. Because this series has had everything those series didn't. This is competitive. This game, game five, overtime, second overtime game of the series. And you can just tell the way this thing is going to go that if the Penguins are to close this out Monday in game six at home, they are really going to have to fight for the last breath that the Washington Capitals can breathe. Because much like the Penguins, who are proving to be as resilient as any Penguins team may be in the history of the franchise, these Capitals, they just don't know when to quit. Remember, last year, they came back from a 3-1 deficit, and they forced a Game 7 against Philadelphia. Just last series, they were down 2-0 and 3-1 to the New York Rangers and won to get here. So the Capitals will show up with Alexander Ovechkin, who has seven goals in this series, and Simeon Varlamov, who continues to make several key saves at opportune times to make the Penguins earn these victories in a very tight manner, well, you know the Capitals are going to put up a fight. In fact, Ovechkin's already promised that Game 7 will be here Wednesday night and that the Capitals will be playing the Penguins in a do-or-die game. But if the Penguins are going to end this in Game 6 at Pittsburgh, there are three reasons and three keys. And one of them at the top of that list left wing Ruslan Fedotenko. Fedotenko has three goals in as many games in this series. He's scored in each of the past three games. He has provided the Penguins with a solid scoring front of the net option on Evgeny Malkin's line. Again tonight, as it was in the case in game four, Fedotenko, Malkin, and Max Talbot were combination wise a tough matchup for the Washington Capitals. If that can continue, Penguins have a really good shot because Fedotenko is a proven playoff stud. Let's not forget, he scored the only two goals for the Tampa Bay Lightning in their Game 7 win against the Calgary Flames in the 2003 Stanley Cup Final. Also, number two point, as much as we've talked about Varlamov, you've got to give credit here to Marc-Andre Fleury. We've talked in the past about Fleury being one of those goaltenders who never gives up that next big goal. Yes, he's given up a couple tying goals to Ovechkin, but let's be honest, with the way Ovechkin's shooting the puck right now, I'm not sure anybody on earth or anybody of another world could stop him. The goal he scored in Game 5, where he backed Brooks Orpik off by about 10 feet and still with the shot past Fleury, I gotta tell you guys, very few guys in the history of this game can score goals like that. He might be the most dominant offensive player in terms of goal scoring that the NHL's seen since, yes, Penguins' current majority co-owner, and all-time great Mario Lemieux. Fleury, though, has not allowed Ovechkin since Game 2 to get that winning goal. And if that's going to be the case again in Game 6, if Ovechkin's goals only pull the Capitals even or give them an early lead, the Penguins will be around at the end to capitalize on their stars. And in the end of the day, it's the Penguin stars who I believe give them the advantage in Game 6. Crosby didn't have a goal tonight, but it was him going to the net to consistently stymied the Capitals defensive players. They just have no answer for him and his willingness to get to the net with speed. Now he's showing power moves. He's basically carving his initials and his number into the crease at this point. The, the Capitals have no answer for him. And Malkin's heating up. This is a classic Evgeny Malkin game in Game 5. There's times you wonder, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? And then in the third period, he's dishing to Fedotenko for the tying goal early. And in overtime, he's making a pass through that ends up bouncing off a Capitals defenseman's stick and going into the net. That's Gino Malkin in a nutshell. Just when you think you got him figured out, bam! He finds a way to kill you in the end. And at the end, this is what the Penguins know. They're going home for game six, where they've already won two games in this series. They can close out the Capitals and advance to the Eastern Conference Finals for the second consecutive season. And if you would have told anybody that on February 15th, when former coach Mike Terrian was fired, and the Penguins were in 10th place and five points out of a playoff spot, that they could be in the Eastern Conference Final and possibly hosting the Eastern Conference Final for games one, two, five, and seven, because Carolina Hurricanes, who are up 3-1 in their series, will be a six seed to the Penguins four. That's just improbable. Don't count your chickens before the hatch, as they say, because the Penguins absolutely are going to have to step on the throat of the Capitals to end this series. This one is not over yet.
For your Trib Total Media Chip Dice Vlog, I'm Penguins Beat Reporter Rob Rossi.